Hi everybody, here with an update for you uh, on our class. Uh, also uh, hoping uh, to uh, uh, wish you well and that your lives are uh, going as best as uh, possible. I know we talked about uh, the coronavirus in our uh, last week of class, but uh, even though uh, we were pretty well informed at the time, I don't think any of us uh, expected the uh, level of uh, disruption to our lives that has happened uh, so quickly. Uh, but at least I hope we were a little better prepared uh, than most. <clears throat> so what are we going to, what I'm going to do here today, I'm um, going to do a quick class update for you, then we're going to talk about uh, and review the coronavirus planning assignment, the last one uh, that I've now graded. I'll talk about the midterm and then we'll talk about what happens uh, after midterm. And uh, the class update, basically, uh, I sent you Sunday an email uh, saying uh, uh, we wouldn't be having any more physical meetings. Uh, that announcement hasn't been made by the university yet, but um, uh, I can't imagine a circumstance in which uh, uh, a, a faculty, myself, who's in the uh, high risk pool uh, over 60, uh, would be required to meet again with students. And I was actually feeling a little sorry for myself that uh, I wouldn't get to do a final lecture or say goodbye or any of the things that uh, are typically uh, part of closing out a, a long and very wonderful career. Uh, but my mom always had a, a, a great uh, a comment when I was uh, whining about or feeling sorry for myself. And she said, you need to think about the people that have it worse than you do. And uh, I know it's obviously uh, you guys. Uh, I can't tell you how much uh, I regret that you're going to miss this last uh, few weeks of your final semester. Uh, yeah, some of it would have sucked in uh, you know, typical fashion. Many of you are tired, many of you are stressed, and all those sorts of things. But you know those final goodbyes and you know the the uh, the emotion, uh, the graduation. Uh, we haven't made any announcements yet, but I can't imagine again that uh, there would be a gathering in May, uh, I would assume they would um, ask you to come back when it's safe, but I, I shouldn't assume for the university. <clears throat> and uh, so so I know uh, life really sucks for you. Some of you have been kicked out of your uh, residences. Um, I had suggested, uh, you know, al already that, uh, you know, you make plans to, uh, to head home, and I think uh, uh, I, I think that's uh, the best thing to do now, wherever home is, uh, make it uh, as good a place as you can. So uh, again, in terms of the class update, uh, we, don't, I don't, we don't have much to do. You guys are all trained on doing your lessons uh, online. Um, I've I had already created videos, uh, full uh, content in every module. So all you'll have to do is plug in on your modules, do it from home. <clears throat> I recognize that the uh, most difficult challenge for you will be your group communications. Be sure you use all of your uh, tools available to you. I'd suggest that the group, uh, obviously email or text or however you've been doing things, but uh, as you open up your, uh, your group, you'll find tools like a discussion board. Discussion boards or blogs can be very useful as you are planning uh, the completion of assignments. Um, and yes, there still has to be accountability. If people do not participate, uh, they should not receive credit for their uh, work. Uh, if you cannot participate, uh, for whatever reason, you need to contact me. Uh, I have been advised uh, to be as accommodating as possible, and I would have anyway, but uh, uh, certainly, if you have issues in your life that are going to complete, uh, prevent you from being able to complete coursework, uh, you need to be letting me know quickly. The university hasn't released final uh, instructions on how I'll handle that. But again, my expectation is that we're going to um, uh, be very careful to uh, make this uh, as, as, as less damaging to you as possible. Uh, okay, so with that as a class uh, update, a couple of more things <clears throat> on your landing page in the course. Uh, if you have any questions about anything, uh, I've given a, an Ask Your Professor um, uh, open blog. You can obviously email me, but 
Um, as you've seen, I'm staying up to date, uh, very up to date on these issues. Uh, things are changing, not quite daily, but probably every two or three days I'm making pretty big uh, changes in my own personal planning, and I'm welcome to share uh, anything about that uh, with you. More directly, moving to the midterm, which, no, my, actually, I want to get the, uh, just a real quick review of the uh, last assignment. The HubSpot group uh, did the best job on this. They were generally good. Um, there were two C pluses, I think three A's, and uh, I guess that leaves eight or nine uh, B's. Uh, HubSpot hit all of the uh, checkpoints and did so with great depth and detail. They had a very nice situational summary. Then they had a full page on internal procedures and a full page on external procedures. Uh, in other words, uh, it's not adequate just to talk about how you're going to manage your employees. Uh, you still got to manage your value. You know, the stock market is in a nosedive. Those companies that um, the stock market eventually feels are going to be successful at managing this crisis are going to regain value very quickly because, man, is there a ton of money floating around in, in places it doesn't want to be. It's looking for homes where they can feel safe. So um, as soon as we uh, complete, uh, uh, again, in my opinion, as soon as we complete uh, the fiscal stimulus uh, portions of our uh, economic response, uh, the market is going to rationalize. We're going to say, yeah, this is going to really suck for, uh, you know, for a while, six months, a year, maybe even a year and a half. Uh, but after that, there's going to be a lot of pent-up demand, and companies are going to grow very fast. Companies' values should be based on their expectations of earnings over many years, not over the next 18 months. And we're going to see a return to, um, uh, to, to a focus on value. So uh, how you manage your relationships with your customers and your general public and all your suppliers is going to be critical right now. Uh, and as you're planning for your midterm, that's going to be a very important piece of it. Moving on to that midterm. Um, it is due next Wednesday, the 25th, at midnight. Uh, here is a place for you to ask any questions you'd like. I'd like you to put your questions here instead of emailing me to emailing them to me because I can answer them and everyone can see them. Uh, I'll certainly be uh, visiting this blog uh, daily and I'll probably be visiting two or three times a day. So the midterm itself we've gone over a couple of times already so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. Uh, this is for your company that you did and select a company uh, uh, with one exception, a student who uh, actually uh, did another company uh, last semester and is, is uh, redoing his. And so you have a situation analysis where you take uh, basically one, two, three, the first four uh, modules, uh, uh, actually five modules because we spent uh, two on uh, kind of financial analysis and value. And uh, uh, a big note here, don't present models of analysis such as Porter's and buyer behavior. In other words, your format on the midterm is not the same as the format on your assignments. You take the things you've learned from the assignments and you rewrite them as a portion of a marketing plan. Then you describe your corporate business and marketing strategies, uh, incorporating any changes you intend. Um, <clears throat> and I thought I already put this, but I'll uh, add uh, a little wording here. This will obviously changes, or maybe not so obviously, so I'll go ahead and make it uh, clear, including changes related to your coronavirus response. Okay, so uh, uh, 
clearly now the major strategic decisions companies are making and the ways they're changing or the things they're looking at doing is what are we going to do now? Do we uh, hunker down? Do we try to take an opportunity to uh, pick up some market share in a bad time here? Uh, you know, uh, what's our uh, position with our customers? How do we address them? And so forth. So then you uh, describe one or two major initiatives and submit a forecast. Okay. Someone asked the question, well, I took out the executive summary, but I left it at five pages. Well, the reason I left it at five pages is, again, uh, on your assignments, uh, this was one, two, three, four. This was four pages just in the situation analysis. So uh, you have plenty of, uh, you, you will not run out of content. Uh, it's still going to be very difficult to, to uh, stuff everything you need to into, uh, into this. Uh, I'd also say that anyone who started work on the uh, midterm before um, coronavirus or before you went to spring break or however you want to put it, uh, you're welcome to submit uh, things that you uh, that, that you did uh, uh, prior to uh, the changes we've had to make. Okay, so those are the pieces of it. I did. Uh, though I don't like it, uh, I did go ahead um, and leave a couple of examples from last semester with a big provision that they did not have the exact same midterm you did. In other words, you cannot follow their, um, their headings, uh, but you can look at these to, uh, to, uh, to give you an idea of the level of depth and detail and quality I'm looking for. And so, as always, uh, appearance is important, uh, layout design uh, is important, and uh, you can see here uh, Molly's uh, from last semester, uh, kind of incredible uh, depth and detail, wonderful use of graphics, uh, all the things that we've emphasized all semester. Uh, it's a beautiful looking paper, uh, it has great content, uh, just remember you will not have the same topic headings, yours will differ slightly, <clears throat> or maybe a little more than slightly. Okay, so uh, that's all I really have to say about the midterm. Actually, I have one more thing to say. Um, here's a lot of stuff that people do that have cost them uh, grades and forced them to redo it. Uh, number one being last semester, three people sort of randomly decided to uh, do their group company instead of their company they selected as an individual. Well, they got to uh, redo the midterm uh, for doing that. Um, if you wait till the last minute, your layout and design is going to stink and uh, that's going to show. Uh, if you don't present material in the order in which I requested it, that's going to show. It's going to be obvious. If you don't do headings, and I'm not going to go through all of these. Uh, we've talked about all of them uh, before, and again, some of them aren't um, necessarily even uh, uh, relevant anymore, but it gives you some hints of what I'm looking for. So I just want to make sure there aren't any um, uh, misconceptions or, or mistakes. And of course, a link back to select a company uh, where you can go back and uh, double check that uh, you've uh, selected a company that it still exists that somebody else doesn't have it. Again, if someone else is selected at first uh, and you do a midterm on the same company as they did, uh, that midterm will be uh, rejected and you'll have to uh, redo it. So make sure you've uh, picked the right company. Okay, so uh, after midterm, uh, as I said, uh, scattered over the uh, state and country and maybe even world at this point uh, uh, as we are, um, I consider myself very lucky that I created this course and have taught it a, a number of times online or very similar courses a number of times online. So as you enter, uh, nothing much is going to change. You're going to have a video. You're going to have uh, a, a lot of content. You're going to have a test. Uh, the test will 
Uh, this first one will become available March 23rd at 1053, and you'll have a, a week or so uh, to uh, finish it. You'll have a test just like you always did, and then you'll need to uh, get together with your group and complete uh, your assignment, making any uh, request of me that you like. And I'm probably going to go through, uh, as I'm looking at these modules, and go ahead and make all of these examples available. Again, with the provision that none of these examples is going to be perfect, uh, but they will uh, be something that is pretty, pretty easy uh, to, to help you out. And often you'll find as we move through the rest of this uh, course that I'll give you your headings. Uh, so... Uh, that'll uh, hopefully make things a, uh, a little bit simpler. So uh, we'll basically just march through the rest of the course just as if uh, um, we were still meeting and we, uh, you will do just as you did in the, uh, the times we've already had online uh, lessons. Uh, watch your deadlines, make sure you don't forget your test, make sure you stay in contact with your group. Here I'll do one more thing. Um, actually, I won't because I can't get to it uh, immediately. But you will have, as I said, blogs uh, on your... Uh, <clears throat> also point out that I have something called a performance dashboard. I will be using this to help me when I'm doing... Um, uh, uh, grading uh, your uh, performance, uh, your, your contribution to your group and your uh, attendance and participation, I think is the word that I use for it. So I can go on here at any time and see um, who's uh, paying attention and uh, who's doing work and uh, who hasn't accessed the course in, uh, in about three weeks. So um, uh, obviously we've been on two weeks of spring break, so I don't expect a lot of activity here. Uh, but this will be uh, very useful to me as I'm, uh, as I'm uh, finishing up the course. Okay, so uh, wrapping up, as I said, if you have uh, special issues that are preventing you from being able to continue with the course, communicate those to me quickly. Um, otherwise, your midterm is due next Wednesday. Uh, put your questions on the blog uh, in the midterm uh, assignment and uh, um, hunker down, uh, take care of yourself, be careful. The first wave um, is now hitting healthcare professionals, frontline uh, providers, doctors and nurses, uh, very hard. The next wave will be service providers. Uh, I know it sounds uh, kind of callous, but uh, where the virus is going to be spread is at that checkout counter. So um, what I'm doing is uh, I've pretty much eliminated my social interactions completely. Um, I brought my daughter home from uh, New York. My son is uh, is here with us, and um, you know we got a fridge and freezer stocked. Uh, it has been for a while, and uh, we're just going to uh, uh, have as little contact with anyone else as we can uh, for um, months. Uh, so. Uh, I won't see you physically again. Uh, you will see me uh, doing videos, uh, I think probably pretty much every week. Uh, I wish you well. If there's anything I can do to help uh, that I can do, I'm really <laughs> limited in the things I can do. Um, you kind of forget uh, when you can't touch or see people how much you're limited. In fact, my family's invented, we're big huggers, and we've invented a new uh, hug. We call it the six foot hug, we stick our hands out and then we clap and, and, um, and we smile. So then we kind of laugh and giggle. So uh, with that, I'll sign off, uh, upload this to YouTube and send it to you.